we are sharing a well-written article by Dr. Ronald Grisanti, where he highlights the most important topic, glyphosate. Glyphosate is a worldwide herbicide. It's very common. It's the primary toxic chemical in Roundup. Yes, it's the same Roundup that you see people buying in the hardware stores, especially during springtime. Since the 70s, we have seen a huge increase of glyphosate on our food crops. It's the same crops that we eat. The amount of glyphosate used in agricultural crops has increased about a hundredfold since it was first introduced in 1974. Believe it or not, 70% of Americans today have glyphosate showing up in their urine. Scientific medical papers are revealing that exposure to glyphosate increases the risk of cancer specifically a cancer called non-Hodgkin's lymphoma by 41%. This is according to the UW Department of Environmental and Occupational Health Sciences. In addition, after an assessment by the World Health Organization's IARC, it's the International Agency for Research on Cancer, Glyphosate was classified as probably carcinogenic to humans. This puts glyphosate in the same category as arsenic and asbestos. To put that in perspective, asbestos raises cancer, the risk by 28%. Glyphosate is also linked to other cancers, such as renal tubular carcinoma, pancreatic islet cell adenoma, and skin tumors. Glyphosate exposure is likely the cause of many other chronic health conditions. It's now being linked to heart disease. The most important action step you can take for you and your family is to eat organic when you can. It is best to find local farms to pur purchase your produce and meat. Visit. Get to know them. Ask questions. Is there any use of pesticides on the farms? How about the grass their animals are grazing on? Are the animals eating pesticide free? The article and the link will be below talks about ingredients you can take to help detox from glyphosate if you feel that you have been exposed on a regular basis. We will be doing more segments on this very important topic. For now, read the attached article and do what you can to clean up your own food supply at home. Thanks for your attention and be well.